a film milestone in cookery today because as the classic film Matilda turns 25, we are celebrating um, the scene that you're about to see. <laughs> well, we he did it. We he promise it. not to do that when we've eaten ours. <laughs> Love it. So Does anybody ever have a teacher like Miss Turnbull? Trunchbull. Yeah. Yeah. The Trunchbull. Trunchbull. Trunch Terrifying. Yeah. But you, this is one of your favourite movies. It's one of my favourite movies. I mean, I'm obsessed with Roald Dahl stories. It's my favourite movie. It's probably one of the cakes that inspired me to bake. Is it? It's iconic. I'm, I, and I could watch that over and over again. Yeah. To me, this cake is all about that kind of silky, fudgy icing when you see it on the screen. Yeah. So I've... I've um, I think you're going to love this. You've recreated it uh, very well. I mean, it looks like the one on screen. Thank you. It's a bit smaller, That's Gary. That's what you call a, a size, slice of I'm cake, I'm actually going to show it? you... Sorry. That is what you call a slice a of cake. That is my Good job size. you have a big slice. mouth, darling. <laughs> it is. Do I well, pick it up? Or <laughs> go for it. Go for it, just like okay. Bruce. I'm going to be genteel and use my fork. Well, um, I'm only showing you a two-layer cake here because that's mm. probably big enough for people at home. And it starts off with the icing first. So I've got a ganache in here, dark chocolate, double cream. I've poured boiling cream over my chocolate. I've left it for five minutes. And then um, I put a plate on it to keep the heat in. And you just keep stirring it in the centre like this. And you'll see it kind of comes together like a sort of whirlpool of chocolate. See how that draws into the middle? And that's your base there, so... I mean, so, so, the, so that's the, the lovely ganache in between the layers of sponge, is well, that's, that crudgy... This is the base of it. There's going to be other things added after we've oh, baked the cake okay. to make it much more spreadable and glossy. So that's that. So do that first, leave that to cool and get on with your sponge, uh, which is a very easy sponge mixture, full of very... Oh, so much chocolate and brown sugar. So in here, I've just melted my brown sugar, butter and chocolate. And then we're going to add some more... What English. chocolate, Juliet? A dark chocolate. I've got, like, a 72% chocolate in there. Really, really dark chocolate. Um, and then I've got my eggs and soured cream, which is going to give it a bit of a tang, and some vanilla. So what you're essentially doing... You kind doing... of think eggs and sour cream would curdle, just the sound of that. Doesn't. Sour cream. Uh, oh, I love sour cream in baking. I, I use it a lot in my chocolate cakes. Do you? Yeah. Um, Sorry, my teeth just, are sticking together, What but... I love about this recipe <laughs> is it's not sugary sweet it's more sort of just rich chocolate um so you just basically add the eggs and sour cream into the melted ingredients like that i mean look how there's hardly any flour in this recipe it's just so fudgy that make it kind of it's quite a dense cake it's, it's very dense yeah. yeah it's very dense and um the secret to a really good chocolate cake is to underbake it slightly because it? it can be dry, yeah. So take it out of the oven when you think it's not quite ready. A bit of a wobble. When you test it in the centre, it should come out kind of a bit fudgy, clinging to the knife. Not wet and glistening, yeah. not dry. Just so, right. Just right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, all you need to do then is just fold through your flour and cocoa into your melty mix mixture. That looks very... Can I just say, I'm <laughs> just living the dream now because somebody's just brought me in... A bowl oh. of clotted cream now. Because we had clotted cream the other day. I went, have you got any of that clotted cream left? It's so now I've got clotted the... cream. Very, yeah. very specific. What do you think this is? A cafe? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have I've got a, cup a cup of tea. tea. Yeah. I'll have oh, can someone get me cream. a cup of tea? Mm. I've got a cup of tea. Cake, Juliet's cake. It's gorgeous. I love my clotted job. Cream, love it. I'll tell you what is really nice to do with this cake, actually, which I which I love doing. Just popping it in the microwave for five to ten seconds. Oh, and it's really, really, really good when you do that. It goes all puddingy. A mm. um, bit of vanilla ice cream with it, maybe, yeah. as well. Yeah. So, yeah, don't worry too much about mixing it any more than that. And then you just literally divide it into your two tins, bake it on 160 fan for about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, I won't level all that off now. We'll bake that later, but I'm going to get on with the, the hero, which I think is the icing. OK. So, um, here's the ganache that I made a bit earlier, so it's cooled and it's, it's gone... Um, it started to set, but it's not rock-solid. And now I'm going to add some icing sugar. So just to add that bit of sweetness, or it would be really, really bitter. Right, how do I turn this mixer on? Here we oh. go. <laughs> Try not to do it on, on full speed, otherwise it will go all over me. <laughs> so, yeah, just beat it through um, into the ganache, like that. And then this makes it really... It gives it a little bit of sweetness. And then I've also melted some butter. Just let that cool. I'm not even I'm trying gonna... to think of the calories at oh. the moment. Just no. enjoying oh. it. Just imagine. 
Imagine actually being Bruce Bogtrotter and being forced to eat that entire cake. Yeah, because this is so rich. And it's, I mean, it's so beautiful. rich. Apparently, um... Then I'm just going to pour in the um, butter like this and just mix it through. Turn it up a little bit. Oh, there Was we go. Is it the butter that glosses it a bit? It makes it, yeah, really glossy and... You've got a minute, Juliet. So I've got a minute left. Long okay, enough? let me just... I'm going to get my icing I made earlier and get that on the cake. <laughs> so here we go. I've sandwiched my two layers together, and then... Oh, look at that. You might that. want it to cool down a little bit more than that. That is glossy. But, I mean, look at it. You just pour it all over the cake. And Love the nice thing, you don't have to be neat. Yeah, that I've cascaded it all. I've made a right mess. <laughs> but cascade right. it all on the top. And, yeah, if it's a bit cooler, you'll be able to spread it a bit better than yeah, me. Yeah, we get the gist. But you get the gist, but look at that, and then just make sure you kind of... Spread it over the top and, and then, then that's the encourage finished. it round the sides. And that's the, that's a two-layer version that you could probably yeah. eat in one go. I mean, look at the mess I've made. But then you've got the three-layer version, <laughs> the finished article there. Don't worry. It's, yeah, it's look at good. it. So there Wonderful. we go. So that and that icing, silky, fudgy. It's, be, it's delicious. It's I delicious. You've done the, uh, the film tribute <laughs> credit there. Absolutely And brilliant. she's got messy. You can lick your Do fingers. You know, it's supposed to be a professional. Julia. I don't even like chocolate cake, <laughs> but I honestly don't. But this is wonderful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Really, well, the really recipes lovely. are on the app.